Well, elsewhere in the SEC, Georgia rallies, beats Florida, who lost DJ Lagway for, I think it's going to be a little bit. It looked really bad, the hamstring injury. Uh, Billy Napier called it pretty significant. 13-6, Florida led at halftime. 78 total yards in the second half. Walk-on quarterback, Yale transfer, Aiden Warner came in, couldn't get the job done. We got to start with the, the Billy Napier job discussion Chris, what's what's your feel for where Florida goes moving forward on this? You have to credit Florida and Napier and the coaches that Florida has not given up. They haven't given up on the season. They didn't give up on this game. Even after the injury, they continued to battle back and tie the game up, and that counts for something. Yeah. And produ- producer Cam says, you know, Billy Napier deserves to keep his job. I, the, the problem is, for one, we have to see how the season finishes out. But two, like, the question is, do you believe Billy Nabier can be the guy to get you where you need to go? And I don't know if in three years we've seen that. He finally has a quarterback in Lagway, yes, but Does elsewhere. He? I mean, he I, might. I, that's, I, mean, I mean, maybe. I, I, Let, I, you can see the potential there. The, the problem is that, you know, you have like Mike Elko doing what he does in year one at Texas AM. You have Indiana doing what they do yes. uh, under Kurt Signetti in year one. And the concept of like, all right, give a coach some time is like, it's not, it's not the same now in, in, Florida can make a bowl game. If, if they beat Florida State in, in one of these other games and get there, like then we can have that conversation, I think. I just think ultimately you look at the situation, okay? Jim McElwain, some personality differences. He won 9, 10 games, won the East twice, still lost his job the next season. Dan Mullen, recruiting issues. Basically, you were winning with those two guys, and you said they can't get us to the mountaintop. That's where Florida wants to be. You know, This is still a program that saw the heights saw what it was like to be a dynasty under Urban Meyer. And for me, when you look at Billy Napier, the the question is so much about was well, he done enough to get himself off the hot seat? So, like that's we're losing sight. We're losing the forest for the trees at this yes. point. Because yeah. this you're trying a, to win championships. Yes, you're trying to win championships at Florida. You're in year three. They're not gonna have a winning season this year. They might get to a bowl. I highly doubt that. They're not gonna have a winning season. Okay. So you're in year three and you still don't have a winning season. It looks a lot like Charlie Strong at Texas where like you're doing a lot of things right. Some of the cultural stuff seems to be going right, but the, the results are just not there. And, you know, as far as what actually happens, I, I'm not sure. I, I think all the things we've talked about all this year, the situation with the AD, it's got Strickland, the situation with the president, all these things are real. I talked to an agent on Friday also who mentioned he thinks that the, the, the carousel is going to be kind of slow in the Power Four leagues because when you're already on the hook for more than $20 million, more than likely – a lot of schools are not going to want to add dead money. And what does that cost Florida to keep Billy Napier? I don't know. I think they might be improved next year. We'll see what DJ Lagway is. I I like what I've seen from him, but you've also barely seen anything. He might be really good. He might not. But I, to me, if you're in year three and you still have a winning season, when you're talking about finding the – like you'd be hard-pressed to find a guy that turned it around. I mean, Jim Harbaugh is the exception, not the rule for guys that it's not working. And then all of a sudden it turns up. I, I think Jim Harbaugh was also out. winning like eight, nine games a year. That and then matters like too. two and five in the COVID season. Like, I mean, it, it, I'll say this coaching at Michigan in the big 10 and coaching at Florida in the 2024 sec. I think it's different. Like it's probably a lot easier to win eight games at Michigan. I think you're still probably dealing with the same level of consternation, but ultimately I just think, you should the expectation at Florida is to compete for and win championships, and you are so far away from that at this point yeah. that the whole conversation around Billy Napier just seems to be just like, ask, well, can we not you, be terrible? <laughs> literally, you just got to ask the same question we just asked about Penn State: Is this their ceiling under Billy Napier? Yeah, like this, and that's what it seems. Whenever we talk about this, this is third year, we have not seen any improvement. And yes, right now the vibes in Florida are good because the players are still playing hard; they're still being competitive in these games. And so now it's like, oh, well, Billy Napier has saved him. So, but again, to your point of it, we're not looking forward. We're not looking at yeah. what is the, the, the grand scheme of things here, which is winning SEC championships, getting to the college football playoff, so on and so forth. Florida's not done that in a very, very long time, and they're not even close to that with Billy Napier. So is this Florida's ceiling with Billy Napier? And that's what it's going to come down to when they decide whether or not they want to keep him or if they want to let him go. And I think that a part of that is going to be DJ Lagway. A lot of people who make these decisions, they're probably going to be looking at yeah, DJ Lagway was really, really good when he was out there, but he was hardly out there. So is that going to be a beneficial factor for Billy Napier? We'll see. I got to say, too, if you are literally anyone who needs a quarterback, 
and you've got seven million in your collect or seven uh, figures in your collective, and you want to go to DJ Legway and say, "Hey, you're not going to win there. Come here and win. Be the final piece. Be our Cam Ward." Uh, good luck hanging on to him because if you're DJ Legway and you're looking at the immediate future at Florida, and you've only got you know two more years before you want to go to the pros, you're going to tell me that's not really appealing because if I'm DJ Legway, it's very appealing. Yeah, and Florida's already lost pieces like Trevor Etienne and stuff like yes. that. Billy Napier has not been able to hold on, hold on to guys. 